Investors Network. Uh, we are here this evening. We have a great sponsor of Pam from Stop Restoration. Thank you, Pam, for helping put this on. Thank you very much. We appreciate that. And yeah, we're going to get right into it here. So we have Mike Nuss with the Railroad Properties. So I know we're all looking forward to hearing what he has to say about creative financing. Um, but before we get into all that, uh, I'm Taylor. I'm just going to be getting into a, a quick market update for what we saw here in March. And I know we're probably all a little familiar with how crazy the market is right now. So I won't be too long. We're going to get right into it. So uh, first we have right here active listings. You can see we have 1,400 active listings. Uh, this is about, or sorry, 1,800. This is about on par with where we were last year. So we went from not too many active listings for the first two months here in 2022. We've seen it return now a little bit, maybe to more normal levels of 2021. Maybe a trend that we should continue. I, I believe we're gonna maybe see more of those 2021 numbers. Also, we all know that rates just rose, so probably a lot of sellers are thinking, hey, it's a good time to put my house in the market now, so we're, that's what we're seeing. Uh, new listings, once again, right on par with that trend. It's kind of funny how, I guess, every March we have kind of a condensing of figures here, but right there we have 3,500 new listings coming to the market, but please, next slide, thank you very much. Pending sales, we also saw an increase. The pending sales number right around 30.45. Um, so even with all of those active listings, we see a little bit of a continuation with the 2021 figure of an increase instead of what we saw from 2020 going down. So pending sales going up, new listings going up, all of that is good. But of course, you can see the red bar here, closed sales. Uh, we hit a new record over the past five years here in 2022. So it's still a red hot market. It's a good time to have your house on the market. So good stuff there. This is an exciting graphic average and median sale price here. We're getting more steep, steep increases. So it's a great time to be holding a property. If you are, congratulations, you are gaining equity in your property. Fantastic. Average sales price. 594 200 meeting at 530. That is pretty crazy if you know the quarter market. Um, I mean, it's just crazy. There's nothing else to say. Average total market time has decreased down to 25 days on market. So if your property is priced right, you're probably getting an offer over the weekend. You probably have multiple offers to choose from. This is a crazy low number, especially for March. I, can, I would imagine that we see this uh, kind of trend continue going forward here in April and May. Also, with interest rates on the rise, it could, you know, it could be a little bit shaky. I'm not too sure. Um, I think rates are currently like 5.8 or 5.9 right now, so that is something to keep in mind. But we do have inventory dropping a little bit down to 0.7. Uh, this is an extremely low figure. Once again, for the folks who might not know what inventory is, inventory simply is like, if no more inventory was to be put on the market for homes to buy, then all of the homes would sell out in 0.7 months. So it's in perfect calculus, but we'll let them slide on that. Um, new listings, we saw a 1.6% in, in, uh, increase from last March, but pending sales down pretty significantly. However, closed sales up to 5%. The crazy figure here to keep in mind is that our total market time is down to 32% year over year. So if your home is on the market and it's priced right, like you're getting a good amount of offers, probably inciting a bit more, all that good stuff. Um, this is the Portland, uh, sorry, multifamily like statistics here. Something to point out really fast, we had two VA loans go through for multifamily uh, this month as opposed to last month. That is kind of exciting. So VAs um, using that. Also, another thing I wanted to point out was the sold price to the original list price. The previous month, we had a 99%, so most, uh, most sellers were doing what they were asking. But that did dip to about 
97.3. So it looks like the multifamily um, market might be heating up a little bit, a little bit more competition there. But with that being said, the Azo market did drop from 51 to 35. Uh, this is the condo statistics here. Green bars represent active listings, blue bars closed listings. Super exciting to see these bands starting to tighten once again. I mean, more in the middle of the pandemic, we saw the urban core just kind of wasn't very desirable, so nobody really wanted to live or buy a condo there. But now we see that changing, things are opening back up. We just had flights cancel masks. I was excited about that personally, but uh, you don't have to wear a mask in your Lyft or Uber anymore. That's exciting. Um, all that good stuff, so we have the city coming back to life. Condos being more desirable again. Thank you guys.